I'm Shirley Nalokat. And I'm David Navarro. We begin with developing right now. Hook News. Police are looking to track down the gunman who shot and killed a commuter on a moving subway train. Today, they released these new images of the killer. The victim is 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez of Brooklyn. He was on his way to brunch yesterday morning when the gunman suddenly opened fire, shooting him in the chest. The shooting coming about a month after the subway massacre in Sunset Park. Eyewitnesses reporter Candace McCown live in Chinatown. That's Candace. Well, David and Charlene, if you remember during that subway massacre in Sunset Park last month, the cameras were not working. Well, this time the cameras were indeed working. That's why we now have a picture of that suspected gunman. And now the NYPD, they're asking for help. They're trying to resume their normal lives, but they can't resume normal life if just getting around is frightening. Riders are traveling in fear as we're now seeing the face of the man investigators believe pulled out a gun, shooting and killing 48 year old Daniel Enriquez. Initial appearances that this terrible crime was committed without provocation. It's been just over 24 hours, 1145 Sunday morning. Enriquez was on a Manhattan bound Q train headed to brunch when witnesses say this man who was pacing the car pulled out a gun and fired multiple times. Enriquez shot at close range in the random attack. Uh, all of a sudden there was a, a gr small group of people started running towards uh, the exit um, and then another group of people started running. The train was on the Manhattan Bridge when Enriquez was shot. The train then stopping at Canal and the shooter running. This is the latest in a slew of random deadly subway violence from a woman pushed on the tracks to the mass shooting in Sunset Park just weeks ago. Today, the victim's employer, Goldman Sachs, remembering Enriquez as a dedicated and beloved member of their team. Enriquez's sister saying he was generous, a loving son, brother, and partner. It's unimaginable. You're sitting down going to brunch, going to visit a family member, a person walks up to you and shoots you for no reason. Not a dispute, which is horrific to do it when it's a dispute, but that is the worst nightmare. Yeah, now Mayor Adams saying that they're working on random bag checks, also working to negotiate with the Port Authority to place scanners to find guns and stop the flow of guns into New York from the south. We're now